All right, so I actually went back to the Shadow Broker's ship, and then I just calendar glitched the delivery terminal so that I could get all of these without having to go back over and over again. Don't really need to research them now. I guess I could. Probably have enough minerals. Oh, and the other thing is on the income opportunities or investment opportunities, the mission I couldn't remember the name of was Mutually Assured Income. So. Gotta make our rounds. Did you hear that we are sharing our deck with a Krogan? Well, ain't that peachy. <laughs> so, Tally, uh. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Yes, I'd like that. I want to talk about you is another lock-in conversation, but you can bail out. So I read something about this new Quarian program called Nurse Stim Pro. I've been thinking about the last time we talked. I'm sorry. I was unprofessional and I wasn't thinking rationally. I was being stupid and selfish. Are you saying that you don't want? No, no. It's it's not about what I want. It has nothing to do with that. You deserve to be happy with someone. I can't do that. No matter how much I... I could get sick. Jeopardize the mission. So, basically... The previous choice, it doesn't matter, but... This locks in, this abandons, and you can always just choose this and have the exact same conversation over and over again. You've given me a lot to consider, Talia. I'm not sure what to do here. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. I should get back to these repairs anyway. Let's see what Jack has to say. Hey. And I want to talk about us, if that's not a hint. Talk to me, Jack. Why? I'm not interested in some dumb shit love affair. It never goes right. Yeah, you have to pick this one. Let's forget it. Good idea. Then you can just repeat that conversation. Otherwise, you're basically forced into locking in or uh, breaking off any hopes of romance and then she'll just tell you to fuck off over and over again. Let's see, who else should we talk to? Let's see what Thane's up to. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Of course, Shepard. Join me. Still talking to Cole yet? Yes. It's still difficult, but he seems less angry. Will you hear my confession, Shepard? I wouldn't talk to you if I didn't want to hear what you have to say. When I married Erika, the Hanar let me leave their service to raise a family, but I had no other skills, so I freelanced. When Erika was killed, I pursued those responsible. Once I'd eliminated them, I had no goal. I accepted the Dantius commission because I didn't know what else to do. Not the healthiest attitude to take on a mission. You're right, it's not. Looking back now, it's clear I'd resigned myself to death. I would have fulfilled my contract. If Nasana's guards caught me afterwards, it would have been a good death. But someone else was pushing to reach the target, forcing me to move faster, challenging me. I had to reach her first. I had no idea you planned to die in there. It wasn't a plan. My body had accepted its death. My mind had been dead a long time. Your mission gave me purpose, a cause to die for, a chance to atone. I was able to speak to my son again. I can leave my body in peace. You've had a hard life. You deserve some peace. <laughs> Whatever may happen. I don't know what kind of expression that is. Yours. Gotta accumulate those paragon points. Oh gee. It's Samara. Shepard. I thought we could chat a bit. I would like that.
You have been a good friend to me. Alright, if you're a paragon, you can potentially go down this path, but I think I'm actually at the limit for the number of women I'm leading on at one time. And I'm still not over Vasir's death. That means a lot to me. If we both still live when this is done, you may call upon me for aid at any time. I will come for you, Shepard. Oh, you're a good friend, Samara. Yeah, if you uh, go down the other path, you can keep pressing and then she basically walks out. And then Kasumi has a comment about it. I was just thinking about you. Oh. Good thing you broke up that cat fight between Jack and Miranda. <laughs> I was afraid they'd tear a hole in the hole. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. I bet. Anyway. I'm not going to talk to Morden again until a little bit later. Well, until I lock in somebody. Being near the end, this is about the time you can do Overlord if you want. But we're going to do one of the most important missions. This over here, Secured Smuggled Cargo, is the mission where uh, Arya gave us the data on it after we gave her that data pad. I'm not going to do that yet. Uh, there's a stupid little mission in this star system we might as well take care of since we're here. Of course we need to scan or look at as many planets as possible to get their names. Uh, Xanathu, believed to be a post-garden world, Xanathu has large deposits of calcium carbonate in its sedimentary rocks, indicating it may have once had plate tectonics and even plant life. Its swirling clouds of dust and snow may have occurred more recently and blocked the sun, creating a mass extinction event. Its surface gravity is comfortable and its temperature tolerable by most sapient species. So post-garden world, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some... Ezo. Typically when you see garden, even if it's post-garden, there's Ezo. But it doesn't look like there's any, unless I'm missing it. I don't really need any more minerals, so... Alliance hotspot detected. Alliance sources request that all ships keep watch for signs of... The missing freighter MSV Estevanico lost one year ago in the sector. Any data recovered that sheds light on the Estevanico's fate will be rewarded. Surface scans indicate the presence of a large shipwreck. Signature bears similarities to the that of the Alliance merchant freighter MSV Estevanico. Structural identity or er, structural integrity is critical. Life support damage, but capable of sustaining a skeleton crew. Recommend extreme caution. It's a solo mission. Actually, this is one mission that fairly regularly get floated on for some reason, that stupid glitch. This one in uh, Brunt's Recruitment, that's where it usually happens. Some people speculated it was related to frame rate, but I have no idea if that's true. Take that. would provide information about the Estevanico's final hours. Warning, disturbing the wreck could cause it to become unbalanced oh, and fall over the cliff's edge. Oh, seems to be edge. tipping. I guess these kind of missions are just for variety. I don't really know. Oh, and a whole 500 iridium. Uh, 
Well, if you take cover in the correct spot, you should be able to get up here. I don't know what's going on now. No, oh, I'm completely lost it. I guess. Oh, yeah, hilarious. Thank you, game. <laughs> I don't know how I was screwing that up before. Better question is why am I even doing this mission? Some kind of half destroyed freighter. be funny if it goes over the edge and Shepard's killed and game ends on this kind of high note. Ugh. It's kind of neat to see the ship tip back and forward. There's radium. I'll just go down here. Trying to channel their inner Half Life 2 or something when they made this. Oh, he didn't get floated, so that's a plus. No, I took forever trying to go over that one spot. I think the shuttle just dropped me off by the computer to begin with. Anyone answer that question? There goes the freighter. I wonder what class it was. Data retrieved, escape mission site. No oh, XP that we can't use, some monies, and iridium. Concussive shots are extremely effective against enemy biotic barriers. Well, I suppose. Depends on how you define extremely. If you define extremely as slightly, then that's true. Alright, well, we're going to have to get on with the game. That's all for now.